Hello my friends and welcome to The Electric Viking. I hope you've had a fantastic day. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It makes really a huge difference to whether or not I can invest more time into more videos. So it's been fantastic to see so many new subscribers lately. Now, of course, I'm preaching to the converted here. Or mostly, I know there's a small percentage of you that just come here to whine and whinge, but most of you are the converted. Most of you know that demand for electric vehicles is fire stripping supply. And manufacturers who are currently trying to slowly transition from ICE vehicles to EVs are, I think, making some odd mistakes. Now, to start with, Hyundai's EV sales are utterly abysmal this year, even in spite of the fact that they have what is really one of the world's best electric vehicles, the Ionic 5. Sensational vehicle, had great reviews, People want it. People really want it. Now, in my country here in Australia, I'll be honest with you, a lot of bogans here who are not that intelligent, they just follow the crowd, so they're anti-EV. There's a lot of that here in Australia. However, around 10,000 people in Australia contacted Hyundai who were interested in buying an Ionic 5. Now, Hyundai just contacted those buyers and said that official orders will open on October 12 at a specially convened online early access event. But Hyundai is gonna limit the number of cars available to Australians to only 400 until the middle of 2022. So between now and the middle of 2022, Hyundai is only gonna let us have 400 cars in the country. Now, of course, Hyundai is aware globally of enormous demand for their cars, but they said in response to this demand here in Australia, it's unprecedented. We've never seen anything like it at Hyundai, a spokesman told The Driven on Sunday in reference to the numbers of customers who had shown interest in the Ionic 5 in Australia. While, of course, it is an unprecedented, there's huge demand for this vehicle in a lot of different countries. The United States, for example, is one of them, where the media are kind of astonished that Hyundai is not even giving them any cars to drive because they're too busy selling everything they could make in Europe. Unfortunately, though, they've only sold a few thousand of these in Europe this year. Why? Well, not because there's not enough demand, simply because Hyundai hasn't invested in building enough of these cars. They've invested incredible amounts of money and time and effort into making this a spectacular EV, but not into actually building them. Now, the Ionic 5 recently won the UK's 2021 Car of the Year Award and pricing is expected to be between $70,000 and $80,000 in Australia. So buyers here know that price. They know they're seventy dollars to $80,000, and yet there's 10,000 requests for reservation. And Hyundai says, sure, we'll give you 400 over the next year. Well, obviously the same thing's going on all around the world. I mean, Hyundai's Ionic 5 sales, like I said, are very, very small this year, only a few thousand. Now, look at a company like BYD. BYD sells, now they sell their ICE vehicles and their EVs on pretty close price parity. And yet, what's happening? Well, now 90% of their cars are coming with a battery because people don't want an ICE vehicle if they can get an EV instead. Now, same thing just happened recently. The Cadillac Lyric sold out in 19 minutes. Clearly, automakers are massively underestimating EV demand. Cadillac opened reservations for their upcoming 2023 Lyric electric vehicle at 1 p.m. yesterday and in a obviously unsurprising result, the car sold out in 19 minutes. Now, we don't know how many they're actually selling, but they said, sorry, we aren't taking any more orders after 19 minutes. So you had to be on your game, right, to reserve one of these Lyrics. And this is 2023. This is two years away. And somehow Cadillac or General Motors aren't planning on making enough to satisfy more than 19 minutes of demand. I mean, there would have been thousands upon thousands of reservations if they had held reservations open. This is an impressive looking car, clearly. Now, if you don't know about the Cadillac Lyric, check out these specs. It comes with a, apparently a starting price under 60,000 US dollars, a 100 kilowatt hour battery that puts out 340 horsepower, to the rear wheels and it'll be good for more than 300 miles of range which makes sense considering the size of the battery it comes with a 19.2 kilowatt ac fast charger and can charge up to 190 kilowatt on dc 
Now, apparently, Super Cruise GM's driver assist technology will also be available on the Lyric. And Super Cruise is actually quite impressive. Now, just compare this to other launches. The Tesla Model 3, hundreds of thousands of pre-orders. The Tesla Cybertruck, more than 1.3 million pre-orders, probably 2 million by the time it's released. I mean, the Cybertruck had 41,000 reservations in the first day and 250,000 in the first week. Same thing happened with the Ford F-150 Lightning or the Ford F-150e. 44,000 reservations in two days. The Volkswagen ID4 sold out in eight hours. The story goes on and on and on. In Australia, we have constant problems. We can't get enough EVs. People want them. They're saying, where are they? Why aren't they here? Motoring journalists are saying, well, the reason that EVs are not being sold in the United States or in Australia, New Zealand, other countries as well, is because manufacturers are simply selling them as compliance cars in Europe because they don't want to pay fines. They don't want to keep giving Tesla money to take their ZEV credits, right? The same in China. People are having to pay Tesla money to take credits away from them so they don't pay fines. It's ridiculous that these car manufacturers are not planning for this future. I mean, GM, really, seriously, you can't plan for two years in advance to sell enough vehicles to actually meet anywhere near your demand. Why? Why is why are they not planning for this future? I mean, GM and Ford and Stellantis, Chrysler, saying that they're only going to release, they're only going to be building around about 40% of their cars being electric in 2030. And whether that's even hybrids, it sounds like that includes FEVs. So why is it that these companies aren't recognizing the fact that there is massive demand? Statistics show it. I just shared with you a small amount of the data shared right now. I mean, they're increasing their prices in the United States because there's so much demand. The wait March and April next year for some of their cars. And that's in spite of the fact that you can't even get the $7,500 EV federal tax credit for a Tesla vehicle now because obviously the US government is no longer giving them to Tesla or GM because they've used up all their $500,000 that they were given. Now, in spite of that, Tesla's demand is astronomical. The same goes for pretty much every manufacturer making a good, decent EV. And yet, most companies outside of Tesla, BYD, and a few others are really not planning to have a full EV lineup by 2025 or to be making EVs in significant numbers. Now, this is what I want to know. Please tell me in the comment section below, why are they doing this? Honestly, genuine question. I can't figure it out. I can't figure out why they don't go sunk cost. Okay, stop making ices because that's not what people want. We can now get batteries in 2023, 24, 25. We can get lithium ion phosphate batteries even now at a very affordable price where we can make EVs affordable. If BYD can do it and all these other Chinese car manufacturers can do it right now in China, and they are, look how many there are, look how many videos that I've made on these EVs that are incredibly affordable, incredibly affordable, 9,000 US dollars for a, a small SUV that can do 300 kilometers of real world range. That, that's, that's just on and on. You've seen my videos, right? There are so many vehicles now. Look at the Wuling Hongwan Mini, right? They can sell that thing for 4,000 US dollars. If you just sold that for 10,000 in many other countries in the world, it would sell out in 19 minutes. So what is going on? I don't know. Let me know. Tell me in the comment section below, educate me on why these manufacturers are not planning for the future that people want and the future that will give their companies success. Thanks for watching the video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.